All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where today we are continuing on with the Murder on Eridanos DLC from right where we left off in the last episode. Once we did discover that this whole area here has changed quite dramatically since we first saw it when we first got our whole job to investigate Halcyon Helen's death. And apparently, there's stuff to scan, which we will get to doing that before we go have a little chat with Chef Anwar and see about maybe if he possibly poisoned Helen as well as that dude. I forgot that dude's name now. Woolrich? Was it Woolrich? I think it was Woolrich. Boy, my memory is awful. <laughs> yeah, I kind of doubt he did it, but he may have seen who did. Well, let's uh, take a look at these scanned uh, things first and see what we got here. It's like maybe we got two different things, perhaps, if that is... I'm not getting an analyze anywhere. Oh, uh, boy, here we go. It's one of these things where I gotta get in just the right spot. Uh, aha! This is a bottle of unreleased Rizzo's product. Oh. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something <gasps> as she expired. But all she managed was a sticky bee. Oh. Interesting. Was she trying to spell out her killer? This hypothesis is plausible, but requires additional information. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It could mean a lot of things. Yeah, it could mean Black Hole Birdie. But I still don't think he did it. He may have, though. Yeah, B could also be Spectrum Brown. She was investigating all that stuff. Maybe she figured out that Brown was, like, super bad. Or it could be someone else we haven't met yet. I don't know. We haven't met everyone here on the island. Uh, let's... Let's go with the first one, though. Now calculating likelihood of Halcyon Helen using her final moments to endorse Rizzo's Spectrum Yeah, I don't Brown. think endorse, maybe Low warn. To moderate likelihood. Yeah, yeah, quiet you. Okay, about Black Hole Birdie. Correct. Bertie Blackhole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Ah. Anybody else I should know about? Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole. Burbage 3001. Burbage. That robot, of course! He was jealous of Helen's acting talent? That his circuitry couldn't muster the same. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe Burbage did do it. Oh my god, if Burbage 3001 ends up being the actual killer. First off, hilarious, and I wouldn't put it past this game. Second off, seriously. <laughs> Make a note of this for later, Amplifier. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved compliment. Splendid work, Inspector. Why, thank you, Discrepancy Analyzer. Thank you. <laughs> like they don't patronize me on. Oh, wow. So all those particle effects were for one singular thing, huh? And wow, they just put up the whole thing like right on top of it, eh? Okay, okay. So nothing up here. Any of these bottles can we take? Is that steel? Oh, hello, brown. I already have brown, don't I, for that one quest? Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, brown's not a part of that. Oh. Never mind. So what do I need left? I need blue and black. Huh. Yep, got my spectrum brown. Nice. Uh, yeah, so nothing else in here with the particles. Oh, hello, back exit area. Uh, that just heads out to Aridonis. Never mind, never mind. Samples will be billed to your room. <laughs> it's not a sample then, is it? Ah, stupid corporate dystopian future. All right, let's go talk to the chef. Wait, hold on. Oh, we got particles. And hold on, over here. I know we got those. Is that a, oh, hello, we got a letter here, maybe. Bellhop, okay. This heads back out to here. This door was not previously open. Hello? Notice the Grand Colonial Hotel service elevator is out of order and will be for the foreseeable future. Please use the stairs to transport all equipment to and from the employee quarters until further notice. Additional liniments will be dispensed for those whose back pain becomes too severe to continue providing the impeccable service our hotel is known for. Neat. Of course. Okay, okay, let's get the scan in first before we talk to the chef. 
timeline discrepancy detected. Yeah, yes, I know, Amplifier. I'm trying to find where it is. I'm trying to get the... Anal there is the Analyze. Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup. Well, that's approximating dangerous. Approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, this seems like a workplace hazard. How hasn't Slug caught this? Because they don't care. Searching Slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Mm-hmm. Is this normal? Oh my god, we can just turn the stove on. <laughs> we'll go with the is this normal first. Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Oh, very Slug, true. already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. <laughs> For shame and I'm turning it on. Wait, 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 bad idea. I know it is. Performing scan. Gaslight appears to have gone out some time ago. Oh. Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight. 0.01%. I like Parvati. It's very quick. Not a bad idea thing there. That was good. Okay, we're out. <laughs> Parvati? Thanks for having me back. Oh, that's Glacier Whiskey. No, that's not that I care about. Okay, to the chef. Hello. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? No. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. I wait for nothing. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care about, uh, hmm. Yeah, why are you talking about food? Don't you care about the crime that has occurred? Crime or no crime, I must keep my head on my work. One does not simply become the head chef in all of Eridanos by fretting over irrelevant happenings. Irrelevant? Well, I'm here to investigate that irrelevant crime. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You're you're the inspector? I am here? Yes. Why I I mean you may ask me whatever you want. You're darn right. I have nothing to hide. You may though. You may. Did you prepare all of Helen's meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Mm-hmm. You're sure no one else was involved? Well, well, yes. I'm positive. Why? That's because... Uh, I do like this one, but... You know, I like this one, though. Something about this isn't adding up. Why don't you tell me the truth? How... Oh, fine. There may have been times I left Helen's meal unsupervised. Of course. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. B. Bellhop! Oh my god, if Bellhop, if it, if a Bellhop took out Helen. <laughs> okay. Why were you being so evasive about leaving Helen's food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of True. course. Why else would I worry about it? Because you murdered her? Let's see. What do we got here? I could do all of them, but I... Hmm. You know, I like number one. Because some halcyon food combinations turn to acid when unsupervised. What? Truly? That's... An alarming business oversight. Instead of volatile chemicals, the corporations should put barbiturates in everything. <laughs> Everyone likes barbiturates. But I don't believe that was a risk with Helen's meal. I was, uh, up to something else. <gasps> what was this something else? I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking. Uh-huh. And consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Hmm. That is a little thin here. Why should I believe anything you say? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh. Oh, I just remembered. The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Excellent. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. 
If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Excellent, and back to the spaceport. Wonderful. Any idea where I might be able to find Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our okay. guests can be rather... particular. Yeah, I've read about some of the Let's demands. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. You know what? I actually really it's do want to know about that. It's to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Mm-hmm. And what was Spencer Woolrich doing around the kitchen? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. Yeah, it While sounds I like him. I appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Ah, uh, yeah. don't tell him I said as much. Yeah, no, if I you agree. If to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. Well, I've already had a chat with him, but that's all I wanted to ask about, apparently. Guess we'll see if you're telling the truth. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. We'll see. We'll see, or else I'll be back, Chef. Oh my god, though, if it's the bellhop. If it's the bellhop. That'll be funny. Alright, that's Bellhop Owens and Constabulary are both outside that way. So let's... Yeah, let's head out towards that. I kind of want to go ex explore down there, but let's... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess that's another way out. Yes, that is another way out. I'm going to go out the main door, though. Why would I go out a side door? You know what? Actually, I probably should just travel to the constabulary in the first place. We've got other things to handle over there. Maybe I should just go ahead and get those over with for the time being. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So yeah, don't we have to head to the, the preserve for meeting up with, um... Looking for the profit of profitability. I think that's where they're supposed to be. So yeah, I think we'll head to the spaceport first, talk to the constabulary, and also talk with that prisoner that they have while we're there, too. I think that'll pan out quite nicely. I should check our journal, though, just to be on the safe side. I think that's where the profit of profitability is, is over at that other place. Uh, yeah, Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Okay, so yeah, we'll go do this one. And in fact, let's just... Travel over here. Wonderful. That may have been a bit of a wasted fast travel to there. I'm really annoyed that there are not any fast travel points, at least that we have found, inside the spaceport. We can only travel to the door. And then we have to roll from there, but yeah, oh well, oh well. Let's have a chat with the constable. Get that security footage and see where to go from there. I'm intrigued if we'll actually get to see the footage, or if it'll just be like, oh, this person was here. I would assume we'd get to see it. But, we'll find out. To the constable! The wine taster! Oh, hey! <laughs> I forgot that, that uh, uh, the barkeep mentioned that a while back. What What is what is he doing in here? Also, why is, why is he a quest marker now? He's been deputized. The the wine taster has been deputized. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk to him. He's a robot. Oh. Hi. Greetings, non-criminally associated individual. As far as you know. The Rizzo's constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic uh -huh. processes are currently suspended at present criminal reports do not require paperwork please lament only in marked lamentation zones oh God, please lamentation speak zones. clearly into this unit's recording instruments you're recording me i didn't consent to that uh Your designation is Deputy Wine Taster. What are you doing in the constabulary? Payroll. Unit designation no longer Wine Taster. Unit designation now Deputy. Uh, 
Do your wine tasting instruments double as weapons or something? While potential lethality of unit instrumentation bears towards 95% violent utilization of equipment would void unit warranty. All Rizzo's constabularies must include at least one deputy constable among the pool of available Rizzo's employee candidates. This unit was considered the most competent. Wow. Wow. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you used to be a wine tasting mechanical, huh? What's your favorite wine? Also, why am I talking to him? I didn't have the ah screaming thing I normally do with my character being afraid of robots. Well, I'm asking, what's your favorite wine? Unit does not have a favorite wine. Unit is incapable of taste. Wait, what? What? But you're, you're a wine taster. What? All right, then, apparently. How may this unit be of service to you? Well, what are my other options here? Uh, I don't care about the spread. Well, uh, we'll ask him. Maybe it'll lead to another quest we can do. Say some out of spread infestation. Checking logs. Error. Information or limitations found. Two. Reciting. Limitation uh -huh. one. Do not tell users about constabulary spread infestation. We do not need to pay the health inspector's bribe a third time limit. Third time, damn. Two, do not read informational limitations aloud, especially not to any of those void damned snot nosed guests, or I'll have you sold for parts. Well, sorry, wine taster, it appears you're gonna be sold for parts. <laughs> All right, I need to acquire the Grand Colonial Kitchen security footage from your archive. All requests for security footage require a nominal compulsory bribe. Of course it does. Is that acceptable? <sighs> oh, yeah, engineering 70. Hold still, I need to examine your bit processing unit real quick. Error. Bit processing unit has been removed. Ah. Temporarily <laughs> surpassing bit fee request. Funds will be requested from Rizzo's leadership with interest at a later date. De nice. Delivering footage. Thank you for your patronage. If you Sweet. would like a wine recommendation to pair with that footage, oh, I would. please submit the requisite request forms. Oh, never mind. Is there any other assistance this unit may Provide. Uh, you know, I'm going to click it. I'd like to report a crime. I'm just intrigued to see where this Activating goes. Activating report writing servos. Activated. Please clearly enunciate the details of the crime. Oh, never mind. No, never mind. We're working on that right now. Never mind. Powering report <laughs> writing servos down. Deactivated. Report Cancelled. 3.5 bits worth of power wasted. Wow. It's deducted from Constable Keen's next paycheck. Oh, sorry, Keen's. All right, I'm out of here. I'm later, robot. Okay, well, I mean, we're going to look around here more, though. I mean, come on, we got to. <laughs> Time to snoop. Hello? Where's this go? Ah, the prison. All right, well, let's actually look around for the constable. Oh. Well, that's a dead person. Yep. <laughs> Boy, they oh, hello. Hold on. Also written this. Greetings, criminal. This unit would employ you. God damn it, deputy wine taster. <laughs> to your crime of landing with an expired permit. Please explicate your defense into this unit's recording equipment. My permit wasn't expired, Scrap Heap. You probably just scanned it wrong. Error. Unit's permit reading equipment was updated only last week. Please tell a different lie. <laughs> tell 
<laughs> it's all different life. You're a mechanical. You ain't got the foggiest idea whether I'm telling the truth or not. Correct. Criminal. However, Constable Keen has decreed that this unit will remain here, questioning you every minute until you submit a confession. Oh, Therefore, God, no. Information on recent exchange lost. Restarting conversation. Greetings. Criminal. Oh, you poor spacer bastard. This unit would implore you to confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. You know what? My permit was fake after all. Oh, let me out of here. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, okay. Well, let's look around here. Is that the constable dead in there, or is that someone else? I'm gonna guess that's the constable! Oh. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Alright, well, let's scan. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keane, formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. No signs of life detected. Maria Keen is survived by no known relatives. Ah! Oh, what killed her? Multiple puncture wounds detected along the frontal bone and between the clavicle. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. I noticed some casings on the ground. Ammunition? These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. Each casing resembles a lancing needle used for medical and surgical purposes. Same damn weapon again. Hmm. Yeah, medical purposes. Amplifiers scan her blood for toxins. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Ooh. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. Hmm. Potassium chloride, that would have stopped her heart. These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest, rather than physical trauma, is the most likely cause of death. My god. Amplifier, make a note. Find whoever did this and make them pay. Your memo has been noted. Thank this you. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. You know, I appreciate Better that, Amplifier. Call activated. We'll find this rat bastard's responsible, Inspector. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, poor, poor Keens. That's unfortunate. That's not a vodka I need. All right. I was hoping I could loot, like, maybe a passcode off of her or something, but nope. Oh, never mind. Thermal key card. <laughs> I was going to take a look at that console out there in a minute, but I didn't. Oh, thank God we actually came in here and found that key card, though. That'll make that a little bit easier. Alright, well, let's check it out. Okay, internment logs. Delinquent log, Mills Cassidy. Suspicion of smuggling is a fait accompli. And to any arrest report involving Cassidy Mills, Cassidy has made attempted smuggling a hobby. And with a few more years of unsupervised practice, we'll likely elevate attempted smuggling into an art form. The key term here is attempted. I'm not at all confident in Cassidy's ability to successfully smuggle anything. She's clumsy in the extreme, obvious to a fault, and couldn't hide sand in a desert. Suspicion of smuggling nonetheless constitutes dissident, irresponsible, or otherwise untoward behavior, contrary to the high standards of Rizzo's company law. Because Cassidy Mills falls under the purview of sublight underground, I expect Mr. Kincannon to pay her internment fees within 36 hours, as usual. Alright. Uza Zuber, disorderly conduct. Mr. Uza was found semi-conscious earlier yesterday morning, lying amongst the remains of a crate of Rizzo's confectionaries. Material value, 15 bits. Market loss, approximately 1,500 bits. Of course! <laughs> God. When approached by guards, Oza began to rave and yell, un uttering phrases such as Rizzo's has slugs. Slugs, they'll kill us all! Mr. Oza has out was apprehended and brought to the constable's office. 
Slug bureaucrats have begun work on the defamation papers, which in tandem with the price of the goods Mr. Oza destroyed, will likely force him into hard labor for the rest of his life. At least we won't, or he won't, be stoking any more trouble between us and Rizzo's anymore. And Alexis Lamb. Public drunkenness! Sixth arrest of Lamb this month. He's getting close to his record. <laughs> oh, security footage. We could have just gotten that from earlier. Cool. Nice. Check diagnostics. Systems pass, you pass. Record archives fail. Record archives not found. Pursuant of Rizzo's company policy, all constabulary terminals must provide must provide for the maintenance, archiving, and disposal of official records. Ah. Quarry records archive. Not found. I'll resume the thing. Being record archives requires high level clearance. Any attempt to delete official records without clearance is a punishable offense. No messages. Ooh. Enter your passcode. Whip, I'm out. Because I got no option to try and hack it. Okay. Well, interesting. Let's head in here. What's the quest for the thing? There we go. Anyone else in here? Well, hey! Can I get you out? Yeah, I probably could. I can use that. If I made a bet with you at the Copper Bottom last night... Let's call it off now. I can't stand the taste of life's brats. Ah, fair. So that's just how I talk to you. No one in here? Nope. Uh, no one in there? All right. Ooh, what's in here? Ah, that's the outside world. Hey, Cassidy. Don't think I know you. What do you want? Well, I like boneless spratwurst. Yep, that sure is the passphrase. Even if it is dumb as hell. It really is. What's Dash's plan? I don't know. Uh, I'm your mark for item retrieval. Tell me what you know and where I'm going. Hang on. How do I know you're real Cassie Mills and not a mole? I'm just gonna go with one. You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown paper. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. Okay, okay. If you're not sure where, how am I supposed to find it? I'm sure some slugite knows how to find it, or has it listed in a terminal. All else fails, you could just case the joint. Might end up with some extra loot for your troubles. Ooh, I do like extra loot. I do like extra loot. You know, I also have a key code. Can I just... Nope. Parvati, break it down. No? All right, never mind. We're good. <laughs> Let's roll. Well, we're on this quest now. <laughs> Might as well finish this thing up. Oh, we're here. All right, so we got to case the place. Uh, oh, hello. Might have been better to stay up there. Oh, also, there's a ladder there I never saw. All right, what's over here? What's over here? Robot! Uh, you're in my way! Okay. Ah, so yes, it's one of the areas where it is uh, not good to go into. Yeah, it's got the warning thing over there. I got a bruiser. How in the heck would I get in without being seen? Oh, I was, that person that was over there is now down that way. Oh, boy. Huh. Oh, man. I'm actually going to have to like, go in there and figure stuff out. Ah. Yeah, not the best place for casing. I don't have like a huge amount of visibility here. All right. So that guy kind of patrols around... Hmm. All right, let's go back down. When we go through those warning things, we get like that disguise hologram, right? It's been a long time since we've used that. I wonder if there might be a terminal somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh God, where am I going? Where am I going? Ooh, security. Maybe there's a thing? No, we looked at that last time we were here. Uh, nope. Nothing of value. Hmm. Oh, hi! Oh, hello, term. Oh, I'm not gonna get in that one. Hey, uh, Ben. You one of the new workers? No, the we've already tourist? we've already chatted. What are you, what are you on about, space bar? Uh, there's a package I'm looking for. Come from the Rat King. Do you know where it is? Sure do. Why are you interested in it? You authorized? Not that I care, but <laughs> something untoward happens. It'll be my ass on the line. Well, let's see. What do we got? Bribe or lie? 
Oh god, that's a l I mean, I have the bits, but... Oh, you know, I'm actually good with this one. <laughs> it's evidence in Helen's murder investigation. I'm authorized by the admin. You're that, Inspector? I am. Alright, here's the package. Oh, sweet. Anyone asks? Tell him I don't even work here. Oh, okay, Simpler cool. Simpler that way. Neat. I appreciate that. Later, buddy. Good talking to you again, Benton. Good talking to you. <laughs> Alright, well, that was easy. I didn't even have to go in there. Nice! Alright, well, let's head back upstairs to Cassidy. <laughs> this quest is gonna go real easy! Beautiful. Alright, and... Oop. You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. Nah. Law meaning authorities, that is, not the forces running the universe. Okay. Uh, what'd you do to get arrested anyways? This is gonna sound a little stupid, but I got a thing about mechanicals. Uh-huh. Don't like the way they move or the sounds they make. Gives me the creeps. Okay. I was drinking with Dash in the cantina when a funny looking one trotted up beside us. Seemed like it was some kind of monster. So I started yelling, banging on it. Right. I don't know what happened next, but I think it involved another mechanical. I passed right out then, and when I woke back up, I was here. Not the most graceful thing I've ever done. Definitely not. Definitely not. Well, I've got the cargo. What's next? No complications? Nope. Grand. The recipient is Joseph Dempsey. Ah. He runs the Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. Yeah, we've talked to him before. All right, one delivery coming up. Just, like, literally right out here. So, cool. Easy. And... Yo. Welcome back. The Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry is just as standard and unremarkable as when you left it. God, I still find that amusing. Hey, I've got a shipment of something for you. A shipment, you say? Yep. The only shipment I'm expecting is 100 pounds of saltuna a week from now. That's a lot of and saltuna. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. Well. I like boneless spratwurst. Is that supposed to be some kind of code phrase? Oh. It has no nuance, no subtlety. It really doesn't? Sticks I know, like right? A nail. A constable could detect that from the other side of Eridanos. Well, good thing I the constable's dead. I codes in my off time. For fun. It's never anything that I actually need to use, mind. Uh-huh. So... And persuade. I might be investigating Halcyon and Helen's death, but I'm no constable. You can trust me. An independent, huh? Yep. Be a big risk letting you into my sanctum. Though, if you're telling the truth, I think it'd be more than worth it. It is! All right. Excellent. Follow me to the back. Oh, we get to go to the back. Nice. Well, over the counter I go. Oh, 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 oh. How unremarkable is your store now, sir? I find it very remarkable. All right. So, as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable general store. This That's what I just in. said. <laughs> Welcome to my black market. Nice. Whatever you're here for. Weapons, information, contraband, cane and ointment. Well, I've now. got it. Sorry Neat. for the frosty reception. No, that's Had cool, to man. Make sure you weren't with the constable. <laughs> yeah, no, again, she's you're dead. A freelancer. I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. Nah, man, you're good. I mean, I'm flying a ship that I don't own under an assumed name, so you know what? You won't. I can be trusted. Good. A worthy freelancer is hard to find. Since you're in the know, you can access my black market stocks. Though Sweet. you'll have to come by later. I'm waiting on my next shipment. Maybe the one that I have with the brown bag. Good doing business with you, especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end. Yeah, again, she's dead. Uh, since I went through all the work uh, to bring you this, can I see what's in the box? See? No. But I might tell you what's in it, so long as it's nothing proprietary, volatile, or breathing. Oh. Let's have a little look. Contraband weapon parts, a few chemicals for the crafting of high explosives. Oh, neat. All fairly standard. All right, oh, fair. And a canister of trimethyl sulfoxide. What now? Where dimethyl sulfoxide is good at keeping folks in stasis, trimethyl sulfoxide is nice for helping refrigerators run. Oh. Useful stuff. Why is that in the black market? That seems like more of a hardware store thing. All right, I'm out. Later. Nice. What's back here? Ah, his home. <laughs> Neat. Oh, it's all steel. I mean, of course. But hey, we got a black market contact now. Nice. 
Ladies, please come out there so I can close the door for the poor man. You know, we don't want his black market to be discovered by people. It will lose the allure. There we go. Excellent. You're all out. And... Can I not... Can I not... Can I not close the door? Oh! Well, I was trying to help you out, buddy! All right. Later, Joseph. <laughs> Why couldn't I close the door? That was weird. So, now what? Return to Dash. Oh, he's in the bar, right? Yep. Alright, let's head down here. Oop. And... Have a little conversation. What up? Hope the job's coming along well. Yeah, no it's done. The constable, which yeah, she's dead. really makes me more nervous. It should. You may be a suspect. One package of questionable goods delivered and signed for. Excellent. Let's divvy up the payment three ways and we can consider this matter settled. Wonderful. Shouldn't I tell someone about, you know, the dead constable? I mean, definitely not these guys. They're criminals, but... Uh, you know what? I'm an honest criminal. Here you go. I don't need the money anyways. Oh, I didn't click it. There we go. Thank the law. Should be just enough to get Cass out of her damn cell. I guess breaking even is better than leaving with your partner in the clink. Fair. You might not be Hawthorne, but you can sure resolve a problem like he could. Maybe better. Oh, thank Thanks you. again for all your help. No problem, Dash. No problem. All right, well, let's... There's one more thing we had over here, and I kind of want to just finish it off, because, you know, uh, we got to get that sorted. So... This is it, right? Yeah. Should be, yeah, right in there. Perfect. Let's go talk to the foreman and head inside this building that I haven't gone into yet, which uh, means we may have more things to scan and steal. Ah, uh, good times. Good times. <laughs> oh, we're getting so much done today. Yay. Really, though, I should probably tell someone about the poor... the poor constable. Oh, no. Hi there. Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision... Oh, wait half a second. Uh -huh. You're the inspector. I am. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, nope, sir. nothing there to steal. Thanks a lot. Okay. Wonder how many of these boxes fell off the back of a loader. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, nope. I see particles. Yep, we got particles. Uh, that's the only one I'm seeing in there. Let's roll. Is fight night still on there? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Holy crap! <laughs> sprat of unusual size. The biology of this sprat is highly unusual. Is uh, this real big. has been in contact with multiple parasites. <laughs> the parasites! shows no symptoms of infection. My god. Sprats do have highly adaptive immune systems. An excellent point, Inspector. The unique immunological subsystem found in sprats is advantageous in fending off parasites pathogens, and other biological threats. Good to know. Why is the sprat so big? A cursory analysis of this organism's anatomy suggests it was bred deliberately for its unusually large size. Dang, all right. What would anyone want, or what would anyone want an unusually sprat, or large, oh my god, an unusually large sprat for, Jesus. Based on slug records of board issued punitive sanctions against sublight salvage and shipping, this sprat is most likely intended for cage fighting. Oh, poor sprat! Oh no! Could I free you, buddy? No? Alright, well that seems to be all there was over here. I'm wondering... Why was that the thing on the amplifier? I don't know. Uh, where am I going anyways? Upstairs, I think it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not seeing any other particle effects. A lot of sprats is rolling around. Yep, no more particles. Up we go. And wait, hold on. Catwalks. No, we're good. Hey, you. You're the inspector, aren't you? I am. Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Mm-hmm. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? Well, I've shot a lot of people, but, I mean... <laughs> what, have you never shot someone? Oh, I like that one. We're gonna go with that one, yeah. Well, yeah, but 
they weren't suspects. Ah. Right, so the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? Well, you see now, uh, what's the culprit been stealing? That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. Hmm. I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the spectrum black? That is Ugh. weird. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? Also true. Hmm. Sounds like our perp's not fencing the stolen goods. I like yeah, that one. probably not. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers are worth half a damn. I mean, yeah, the Spacer's the Choice. Most recent theft, five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't what? decide which one's sadder. The latter. <laughs> it's both. Both are sadder. I wish they hadn't stolen the blue pens. We can never keep enough of those in stock. <laughs> All right, who has access to the car cargo? Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the <gasps> shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automechs that handle cargo. Huh. Maybe there's a problem with the automechs. Could be. Those things will break if you so much as look at them funny. That's Benton's area, but don't bother asking him for help. I mean, Last I'm definitely going to ask. him to check the automex, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, is he dead? Brain dead, maybe. But no, no. My point is that if you think the automex are a lead, you'll have to check on them yourself. Well, uh, good thing Hopefully I have lots of mechanical knowledge. Inclined. I am! Any idea why someone would want to bug Cedric's office? Oh, yeah, I forgot there was a bug in there. Maybe they're keen on cashing out and want to go as painfully as possible. <laughs> I don't know. Boskin Cannon's office is where he holds most of his meetings with important folks like Miss Helen. <gasps> Just about all negotiations happen in his office, too. Vendor pricing, major purchase orders, rentals for construction projects, you name it. Huh. Well, thank you. That's enough for oh, now. Before I forget, uh -huh. I figured you might want to access my terminal. So I, I have was just a thinking that yes. Card made. It's all yours. Why? Thank you, Ella. You're so handy. Anything on there I should know about? Oh no, I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo to steal. I like yeah. you. I do have a list of cargo that's gone missing, though. If that helps any. I like you, Ella. I like you. <laughs> to the terminal. <laughs> Insert key card. Incoming. It happened again! Pen Soda, I'll never understand where you get the energy to care about this shit, Tinsley. I don't know what to tell you. Pretty much the only ones that handle any cargo are the auto mechanicals. You can come back, uh, come look at them if you want, but even I have better things to do than help you exact justice on a void damn pen thief. We're missing cargo again, just random shit this time. We lost five boxes of blue pens and a couple of purple berry sodas. I can't see a pattern. We got all those dead eye mark twos on the other day, and not one of them went missing. So it's not like the skimmer is going for the most expensive cargo. For as far as I can tell, shit's getting skimmed from the crates before they make it inside freight storage and processing. So I'm gonna be breaking into the shipping yard at night. Alright, return to oop, nope, incoming. Ella, tell whoever snuck over to Shipping Yard and mess with the loading automex to go to hell, will you? Those things break down enough as it is, and I'll be damned if I'm going to haul cargo around myself. Okay, what's the outgoing? Oh, we got a lot of them here. Uh, start with the chip, pen, so I never understand. You get the okay, okay, then that's like her final response. In that case, there must be a problem with the automex. I'll swing by when I can and see what's malfunctioning. Besides you, ha ha! All right, that. Don't tell ever stuck the ship. Okay, okay, but you have to admit it's a little funny to see an automech dance. Not my fault. They're so easy to hack. Seriously, a primal could do it. Nice. Final one. A missing cargo list. 
Here's a list of what's gone missing so far, or at least everything I've noticed. See what I mean about there not being a pattern? All right, so purple berry punch, pens, cacao, cacao milk, small portrait images will... Re oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to care at all what I like to fold these in half. Nice. Three, mark seven cranial protectors, seven sets protective clothing with safety harness, armid ballistics, two cases of lemon slap, ten spacer's choice sabers, twenty-five cases of blasting agent, oh, that's worrisome, three boxes of dark matter bars, four cases of nanner spank. I ask you, a Benton, who would steal nanner spank, let alone pictures of Spencer Woolrich, if the thief wasn't skimming from Cedric Kin Cannon, for of all people, I'd figure they were doing it for kicks and giggles. All right, so that's it in there. All right, well, weird. Uh huh. <laughs> well, let's go check out those mechanicals. All right, hacked mechanicals. Here we come. Oop. And boom. Huh. This is a very odd assortment of things that they've been stealing. Huh. All right. Well, they're just down here. Could go talk to him, but yeah, he's probably going to be useless. Let's take a look at the hacked mechanical. With my technology and perhaps Parvati's help, who knows? We might be able to get some good things. Oh. oh! Inspector, this loading auto mechanical's programming does not match factory default settings. <gasps> the standard oh, no. defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. Uh oh. Define standard defensive protocol. For type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once uh -huh. triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. <laughs> okay. Identify the new trigger. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Oh. Well, scan for signs of unusual behavior. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. Interesting. Let's have a look inside this auto mech. Okay. Loading auto mechanical unit K14 is fully Hi. operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. How can this auto mechanical assist you? Well, well, clearly we're going this one. Inspiration 45, Parvati, thinking and disable the fail safes. You got it, Cap. Thank you. Fail safe successfully disabled. Kill mode. Deactivated. Wonderful. Good job, Parvati. Uh. Are we gonna disable it even further? I mean, I'm gonna do it again, yeah. Fail safe. Successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. I guess I was just checking Parvati's work. <laughs> Via the most recent added uh, data log. Detecting data log. 17 C. View the most recent added data log. Looks like the automatic has instructions to skim random cargo every one to four days. Okay. There's also instruction to steal a specified package, shipment number 6875. Curious. What was in this shipment? Apologies. This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Okay. Bye bye. Unit. Entering standby mode. Have a nice day. Wonderful. Okay. Oh my god, now we're going back up that way, huh? You know what? I actually just noticed the time. I hadn't been paying attention to my timer there. We're at 50 minutes, so we're actually going to edit here. Uh, we've got to go head back to Cedric to find out about this cargo, which is interesting. I was also a little bit disappointed with, the, with this that we got the security tape. But we never got to look at it. I should read this part. Security footage of the kitchen would verify that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say what was on the footage. Yes, I mean, we've got that, but it didn't tell me what. There's nothing there. 
Yeah, I really wish I could know what was on that videotape already. Oh well, but that's gonna be it for today, folks. Next time we'll go talk to Cedric and see what happens with this whole thing. But until then, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.